everyone in today's session i will explain the sanesfe application from sanifos sanesfe application is available on android application as well as on iphone application so users can download the application from both of the devices android users can download the application from play store by searching the keyword sanesfe and also iphone users can download the application from app store by searching the keyword send crm after downloading the application and input the credentials for the id and password by the user that they can see the my day plan under my day plan they have to submit their today activity like today what work type they are going to perform so if i click on select work type drop down i can able to check all the drop downs here like meeting holiday transit field work so on i can select the uh, work type as per my choice i'm currently selecting as field work for reporting the calls and then i can select the cluster so from drop down i can select one cluster from the bottom so there are multiple clusters are available i will select one cluster and in the remarks i can enter the call objective whether uh, how many calls i have supposed to target for today and then i will refresh my location by clicking on the circle and then i will submit the my day plan after submitting the my day plan you will land on the home screen so this is the home page of the application where you can able to check in the circle listed doctor our total in the application is 99 in which he met 12 doctors already in this month so that details you can able to check and then uh, in the below you can able to check some menus like listed doctor chemist stockist unlisted doctor edit call doctor business entries quiz and so on so one by one i'll take you to the each of the menu so after uh, uh, completing your my day plan in the top left corner you can click on the three horizontal lines where you can able to check some other menus as well like name of the user and the id of the user the check in time of the user and then uh, there are some different menus are available like my day plan in the my day plan if you would like to plan for the monthly basis or if you would like to uh, plan the yearly basis both the options are available in the application so tour plan is also readily available as well as stp is also readily available so whatever uh, workflow you are following for the planning part you can uh, take that so suppose if i click on tour plan for the uh, monthly planning so here after clicking on the tour plan menu you can able to check the whole month of calendar appeared at your screen now for which of the date you want to plan the tour plan you just have to click on that date suppose i'm just clicking on 1st of april after clicking on 1st i can able to select the work type i can able to select the cluster here i can select multiple clusters as well and then i can enter the remarks same call objective and then i can also able to select the uh, doctors if i click on this briefcase i can able to select the doctor's name that on 1st of april i will i am going to visiting this four doctors and then the next uh, menu is for flask where you can select the chemist and pharmacy and then in the third medicine option you can select the stockist name and then the fourth one you can select the joint working so if you are going to report this call with your any of your manager you can select your manager name and then you can save it so now you can able to check 1st of april is previously on black color but now it's coming as red that means you have successfully planned for this particular day once you have planned for all the days from 1st of april to 30th of april then all the colors will change from black color to red color once all the dates will change to red color then the status will be changed from tp planning to send to approval then your delegate have to click on send to approval so uh, they can send this tour plan to the immediate manager for approval now if we go again back to the menus then there is a leave option available where you can apply the leave directly from the portal by selecting the from date and to date and then you can select the leave type according to your choice whether it's a casual leave personal leave sick leave or lop and then you can enter the reason for leave and then you can apply the leave from the bottom after that there is a uh, next we are again after completing our uh, stp and tp whatever you are following we are again going back to the home screen and once we completed our tp and my day plan then we can report the calls to the doctors and chemists and stockist so first we are going to report one doctor call so if i click on listed doctor menu 
I can able to select the doctor name from the drop down. Suppose I am going to visit Dr. Abdul now. So I will select his name Abdul Wahib and I am clicking on check in. Now my check in time, my latitude, longitude, exact address will be captured. And I can also see Mr. Abdul's specialty, category, class, date of birth, date of wedding details. Now I will enter the product order booking value in rupees. And then I will select the joint working details. If I am doing this call with my manager, then I can select my manager name in the joint work. And in the product, I will select whatever the products I have promoted to this doctor. And I can also enter the sample quantity if I have the sample given, Rx quantity if any Rx given and RCPF. And then I will select the feedback of the doctor and then I will save it. So likewise I can add the promoted products to the doctor and then there is an input. Under input you can select if you are giving any promotional gift item to the doctor you can select the input name and you can also enter the quantity and then you can save it. Next is RCPA so if you are doing an RCPA with the chemist for this particular uh, doctor so you can uh, select your chemist name and you can select the product for which you are doing the RCPA. RCPA is nothing but a competitor analysis of products. So it's a retail chemist prescription audit. And then you will enter the quantity. How many quantity of this particular product 1 AL 2.5 mg is prescribing uh, by this doctor. Suppose he is prescribing 200 quantities. And then you will click on add competitor list. And here you can select your competitor brand, competitor product and how many quantity doctor is prescribing for your competitor product you can enter it here. So this RCP entries will help you to generate the potential versus yield report. So you can take the remaining uh, uh, business from the particular doctor. So this is the RCP menu. The next is the next visit date or next visit date if doctor is asked you to meet on the next visit date. So you can select easily the next visit date from here like I'm selecting 31st and I'll select an OK. The next is the event capture so under event capture you can click a live photo and if I click on the event capture here you can click the live photo and then you can select the title and description of the photo and you can save it and then uh, there is a feedback so you can select the feedback of the doctor this uh, drop downs you can specify according to your choice. And then the remarks you can mention the call highlights whatever the discussion happened with the doctor and then you will refresh the location and then you will submit and check out the call so likewise you can submit the doctor call successfully next is chemist menu under chemist menu also you can just select the chemist name from the drop down you can enter the POB details in rupees you can enter the joint working details you will enter the product promoted to the particular chemist and if any sample quantity given you can enter the sample quantity and you will select the activity if you are performing any activity with him and then you will click a live photo select a feedback and remarks in the remarks you can mention call highlights whatever the discussion happened with the chemist and you will refresh the location and you will submit the call everything is same here as the doctor menu only one thing is uh, different that here you can also add new chemist into the application by clicking on the chemist plus option at the top right corner. So if I click on chemist plus option here, I will select these four things that is cluster, name of the new chemist, phone number of the new chemist and then I will select the address of the new chemist and then I can submit it. So now I, can, I have added the uh, one chemist into the application. Now I will select the drop down. And I can see his name and I can report to him the same way I have reported to the chemist. Now next menu is stockist. Stockist is also you can report to the same way as you have reported to doctors and chemist. You will just select stockist name from the drop down. You will enter the POB value. You will select the joint working manager name. You will enter the products promoted. You will select the activity. You will click a live photo. You will select a feedback and remarks. And then you will refresh the location and you will submit the call. Next is unlisted doctor. So unlisted doctor here you can add the new doctors into the application. So suppose your medical representatives are going on the field and you, they found some new clinic opening up in the area. They can click on unlisted doctor plus. They can add some six mandatory fields like cluster in which area this particular new doctor is coming in. Doctor name, doctor qualification, doctor class and doctor category. 
and then doctor specialty and they can add the particular doctor into the application and now they can select this new doctor name in the application and they can report to him same the way they have reported to doc listed doctor chemist and stock list now next is edit call option so after reporting to all these four calls you can also edit this calls but if you are supposed to report it and submit it any call today so you can only able to edit that particular call till 12 am midnight that means next day you can't able to edit that particular call Next is doctor business entries. So here you can select doctor business entries for the month's uh, product wise and value wise. Both the options are available. Next is uh, quiz facility. We also do have a quiz facility where you can uh, submit the quiz for a medical representative to check the product knowledge. And here in the MR application, they can just download the quiz and they can select one uh, option from the four MCQs and they can submit the quiz. Then we also are having an order mock booking management system with us. So here in order booking management, you can take primary orders and secondary orders as well. Now next is the mail facility. So we are also offering the internal messaging and mail system. So you can end talk and communicate internally with your app, uh, team members and then there is a survey module so if you are also following the surveys in your company so you can also conduct a surveys from the uh, application and then there is a library so you can also attach some pictures and uh, images in jpg and png formats so that you can show to your doctors at the time of reporting and also there is uh, one menu for uh, activity so you can upload the activity like campaign scam uh, on survey from the admin portal and here in the MR portal they can just click on that particular activity and they can uh, fill up all the questions they can also upload the images they can also uh, their geolocation latitude longitude everything will be captured so they can also perform the campaigns now these are all the menus now if I again go back to those three lines where we can check the, some other menus like missed date so if I click on missed date here they can also report for past date calls so suppose in the past uh, they caught with some accident or maybe they caught up with phone theft or maybe they felt ill in the call so if they have not reported any calls in the particular day so they can request to their manager to release that particular date for him once their manager will release that particular date they can select the past date here and then they can select the work time for that past date and cluster and they can report the listed doctors chemist doctors non-listed doctors everything for the past date as well now next menu is uh, pre-call analysis so for pre-call analysis before entering into the doctor chamber or clinic they can just select the cluster and the listed doctor name now they can able to check everything for the last visit call of mr abdul so what are the campaigns mapped what are the products mapped what is the next visit date he have asked us to meet on what are the products given in the last visit inputs given last visited date call feedback remarks everything we can check before entering into the doctor clinic now next is the forms option so here they can able to check the leave details so if they have applied any leave whether it's approved by the manager or whether it's a pending next visit date and coming holiday weekly of days and then next is the reports and the near me option so if near me is uh, basically they can geotag the doctor's location here so when they meet the doctors for the first time they can tag the particular doctor's location for the first time in the application so to tag the doctor's location they just have to click on the add new tag plus option here they have to select the doctor cluster and suppose they have to tag any of the one doctor so here already all doctors are tagged so I'll just select some other cluster okay so here I'll take this doctor Rihanna as her tech count is zeros to one that means she has not taken in any location yet I will select her name and I'll again click on tag plus option now I can see dr. Rihanna's location at the top of the application if it's correct I'll click on tag plus and it will ask me to capture the clinics application live photo so I'll select her click her photo and I'll attach it and I'll select, check the location latitude longitude address and I'll confirm it once I click on confirm Dr. Rihanna is tagged here successfully. So that 
uh, that's like you can add the geo tagged doctors for the first time when you're going to visit them you have to follow this process only from the next time onwards when you will be available in the doctors area then only you can check the doctor's name in the listed doctor menu and the next is rcpa so here you can do the rcp retail chemist prescription audit you can take the competitor analysis of your products because every product has 5 to 10 competitors into the market so you can do this from chemist next is uh, we are having a reports part in the reports you can able to check the day report under day report we are having a you can able to check uh, where we have check in check out and uh, uh, what is the cluster we have worked in what is the half day what is the remarks how many doctor calls we have submitted chemist calls st uh, stockist call and unlisted doctor calls all these numbers are hyperlinked so if i click on doctor one i can able to check all the details like at latitude longitude address of the call visit time of the call modify time of the call check in check out time next was a date joint work and every every other things like what are the product promoted inputs given feedback remarks everything so same i can check for chemist as well stockist and unlisted doctor next is under the dashboard you can able to check multiple reports like monthly summary where you can check the analysis for the month basis visit monitor where you can check the visit frequencies sales analysis target versus sales missed call report in which how many calls your delegates have been missing product exposure review report so sample summary multiple reports are available in the sanifos application so that's a little overview of our uh, sanifos application of sanifos thank you for watching